The mutual information between two random variables plays a key role in the definition of the channel capacity for a digital channel. Because of this, in this video, we will present this quantitative measure of information. The mutual information between two random variables, x and y, is given by the addition over the events of x and the events of y of the joint probability times the logarithm of the ratio between the joint probability and the product of the two marginal uh, probabilities of x and y. Because of this definition, the mutual information has several properties. The first one is that it is a non-negative function and it is equal to zero when the two random variables are independent. This is evident because in the logarithm we have the ratio between the joint probability and the product of the marginal probabilities that are equal for independent random variables and therefore we have the logarithm of one which is zero. The mutual information is also upper bounded and the upper bound is the minimum of the entropy of any of these random variables. The mutual information is always lower than the, than the entropy of any of these random variables. It is also possible to define the conditional mutual information between two random variables given a third one, just by averaging the mutual information of the two first uh, random variables, in this case x and y, given any event of the uh, conditioning random variable, in this case z. The same conditional mutual information can be obtained by a relationship with the conditional uh, entropies. The, uh, the joint mutual information between x and y given z is equal to the conditional entropy of x given z minus the conditional entropy of x given both y and z. It is also possible to introduce the mutual information for more than two random variables and it is based on the chain rule for this basic definition of the mutual information between three random variables x, y and z. We have the mutual information between x and z plus the mutual information between y and z given x. And using this basic expression and applying the chain rule is possible to obtain the mutual information of several random variables. And the last property that we are going to mention here is that the mutual information of a random variable with itself is equal to the entropy of this random variable. Because of this, in some cases, the entropy is also called the auto-information. Now we are, gonna, we are going to see that the mutual information is related with the entropies. If we have here the definition of the mutual information and we use the base rule to identify that this is a conditional distribution, in fact, the conditional distribution of x given y, and if we separate the logarithm of this uh, ratio in the addition of two logarithms, just separating this logarithm and uh, this logarithm here, and if we take into account now that the addition for every value of y of the joint probability is the probability of x, and we will invert the argument of the logarithm here to get that this expression is equal to the entropy of x, and this expression is equal to the conditional entropy of x given y. Therefore, the mutual information between two random variables can be obtained as the difference between the entropy of one of them minus the entropy of the same variable given the other one. The same procedure can be obtained, uh, can be applied to obtain that the mutual information is also equal to the entropy of y minus the entropy of y uh, given x. And taking into account the relationships between individual entropies and the joint entropy with the conditional entropies, it is also possible to show that the mutual information between x and y can be obtained by adding the entropy of each of these two random variables 
minus the joint entropy between x and y. Therefore, the mutual information between two random variables can be obtained through entropies of each random variables, conditional entropies, and or uh, the joint entropies. Thank you.